Welcome everybody to a beautiful morning. When I'm filming this video, that is. I have a new accessory for the truck. I got the Lear camper shell added on. Uh, I really needed this for uh, the line of work that I'm in, uh, securing all my contents uh, when I go to trade shows all around the United States. Um, this allowed me to um, fit a lot more inventory and not have to stuff it in the actual truck part of the, uh, the cab part in the extended cab. So this gives a lot of nice height. I wanted to show everybody a good walk around, the fitment of it. Um, I am extremely happy with the production of it, the quality of it, uh, the color, the fit, uh, the finish. Um, it looks better in person than I had seen in the videos online of it. I'm really, really happy with it overall. Um, this part goes over the the factory tailgate here so you just turn this and this big big lip up here with this water shield protects this and then on the inside uh you know i got the standard uh i think they pretty much all come with carpeted headliner it's like their promotion i did add the sliding inside back window that way i could clean the glass between the the, the truck and the uh, extent the cab shell here uh they did of course all the installation and at the lear dealer um, there's a wiring harness for the third brake light. Um, uh, the little windows do pop out on the side and have a screened in area to vent a little bit of. And then uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, lock here, you turn it one way and it's permanently locked. Turn it the other way, it's permanently undone. I like to make this sure it's nice and tight. Uh, third brake light. Uh, here's the, the roof of it. It's pretty much flat all the way across with those two little drip guards down each side but uh you know basically what it does is it covers the on your factory bed liner cover for the lip it covers it all the way down and since the to make this match up real nicely all the way down they did this really nice lip design here i really liked that that this ended up being in the same plane instead of being sunk in like a another manufacturer does uh, but like I said uh, seeing these in person and having it looks way better than the videos um, I was really worried about this area right here just being too obtrusively out and down but it's actually a nice smooth transition it's actually this is actually a very nice transition right here that they that they came up with I did get the frameless glass, so I don't have the big black frame around here, and it makes it look a lot, match like the rest of the truck a lot better. Well, I don't have too much else on the Lear shell. I mean, um, you know, I expected there to be some minor leaks that everybody talks about, and uh, most of my leaks have been around those drain holes up there by the, by the cab, and it seems to come out at the floor, and I don't know why they all do that. Everybody's trying to fix it. Nobody that I know has been successful. Uh, it doesn't affect the way I haul my cargo and, and tote bins. Um, mainly this for a little more um, weatherproofing is the reason I did it, but mostly for the security of being able to have the whole entire bed of the truck full. So, well, that's a quick rundown. I just wanted to give everybody an update when the truck was clean. Didn't get to shine the wheels, but that's all right. It's been kind of a chilly May. Uh, beautiful day out here on the lake where I like to come and uh, uh, film some of my videos uh, away from the highway. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions about the Lear camper shell or anything else about the truck, I always try to like to follow up with comments. So thank you very much. And don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Um, you know, maybe in the future it'll be funny. But right now we're almost at a 1,000 subscribers and that's my goal right now. So hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, I'll make some more videos. Thank you.